Hi, my name is Chad Goss and I'm from the University of Louisiana at Lafayette. Today I will be teaching the technical skill of serving. Um, I have five progressions that I'll be going through. First, I'll start off with the grip, then the stance, then the toss, then the point of contact, and then the follow through. The first progression that I'm going to show Jerry here, my student, is the uh, grip for the tennis racket. The basic grip for a uh, regular basic serve is the handshake grip. It's called continental, but another term for it is the handshake. So when you're holding your racket, you'll take it like this, just like you're shaking somebody's hand, and wrap it around the racket, and that is your basic serve grip. I now will show Jerry how to do that grip as well. Just hold it steady like that. All right, good job, Jerry. All right, my second progression for the tennis serve is the stance. Now, you always want to make sure you have the previous progression as well. So I have my grip on my tennis racket, and now I'm going to show you the stance. Your left foot, if you're a righty, your left foot is going to face toward the right pole for the net. And your right foot, your back foot, is going to be parallel to the baseline. Now for a left-handed person, it'll be completely opposite. Your right foot's going to face the left-hand pole, and your back left foot is going to be parallel to the baseline. Now I'll have Jerry here demonstrate the stance, with also the grip on the racket correctly. So show me your grip first. There's the handshake grip, continental grip. Now as you see, his left foot, is facing to the uh, right pole of the net and his back foot is parallel to the baseline. Okay, the third progression for the tennis serve is now the toss. Once again, you want to go back to your grip on your racket, which is the continental or handshake grip, and your stance. Now first, I'm going to start off without using the racket. I'll just show you the toss without the racket. All you want to do is keep your left arm not all the way extended, but a little bit of the bend of the elbow, and you're going to toss it straight up. It should come back straight down to your hand. Now I'll show you about how high you should toss it when tossing the tennis ball. You'll hold your racket straight up with your right arm extended. If you're, le if you're lefty, left arm extended. And you'll toss the ball as high as the racket is. Once again, the ball should come straight back to your hand. Now I'll have Jerry demonstrate it for you. Now make sure you have your right uh, grip, handshake, grip, your stance. Good. All right. Now go ahead and give me the, I'll take the racket back from you. And now I want you to just toss it, toss the ball up and catch it. One more time. All right. Good job. Now here's the racket. Grip, feet. It's, okay. Now hold it. Extend your arm up a little bit higher. Your right arm a little bit higher. Right there. Now toss it. Okay, one thing, try to hold your arm out a little bit further into the court. Now toss it again. One more time. All right, good job, Jerry. Okay, now we will go over the fourth progression in the tennis serve. The fourth progression is the point of contact, which you want to do at the highest uh, point. So once again, your grip, your stance, and then the ball toss is all key to getting your uh, point of contact at the highest point. So what I'll do is I'll show you from this point of hitting the ball at the highest point of contact. Once again, I'll show you, but I'll show you from the back side to make sure that I am hitting from the highest point. Okay, now I will uh, show Jerry how to do this as well, and he will demonstrate. All right, Jerry. Now remember, show me your correct grip. Okay, he's got the uh, handshake or continental grip. He's got his stance. All right, now show me, do one ball toss, but do not hit it. Just show me your ball toss. Okay, throw it a little bit further out into the court. All right, that was a great ball toss. All right, now go ahead and remember, start back here with your racket. And this time, Jerry is going to hit the ball. So 
Just Before. remember everything, yeah. Right. Just toss up and go ahead and hit it. Okay, the fifth and final progression of the tennis serve is the follow through. Now once again, you want to go back through to your grip, your stance, your toss, and then your point of contact. And the follow through is one of the more important things of the serve. So I'll basically show you what it looks like when you do follow through, showing you the complete serve. As you saw, I followed through with my racket on the left hand side of my body. So now I'm going to show you, that was this side of my body, I'm going to show you on the left hand behind me, that way you can see that my racket does go on the left hand side of my body. Okay, now I will have Jerry once again demonstrate it for you. Now remember, Jerry, you've got your grip, your stance. Okay. Now just remember also your your uh, ball toss and your point of contact at your highest point. Okay. When you do follow through, I want you next this time. Go ahead, and when you follow through, I want you to hold it like this, and that way they can see that you are doing your correct follow through. Yeah, you don't have that to. Hit, you don't have to hit it so hard, okay? Just, just. I want you to hit one in for me. Man, struggling a little bit here. It's all right. All right. Let's go. One more. That was close. One more. Okay, right. now that we have gone through all the progressions, I'll go over them once again real quick for you. You have your grip, which is a handshake continental grip. Then you have your stance, left foot to the right net post, back foot parallel to the baseline. Then you have your ball toss, which was holding your racket that high. Then you have your point of contact, which is at your highest point. So I want to hit it there. And then last but not least, you have your follow through, which was on the left hand side of your body. So I'll show you a serve, two serves, and then I'll have my uh, student come and show you uh, three serves to end the lesson. All right, Jerry, now three serves for you, and that'll be it. Now remember everything I told you, right? Grip, you stand, ball toss as high as you can hold your racket, up there, and you point of contact in your pulse. Now remember, you don't have to hit hard. Good, now, let me stop real quick. You notice how he caught the ball? His toss was a bad toss, it was too far into his body. The toss always wants to be out in front of him. A little bit high. All right, Jerry, appreciate you having me out. Thank you. And that is the tennis serve.